Okay, well, good morning. For some reason, a lot of you have posted that you want to see me in the actual day of the life actually rolling through town or talking to you early in the morning, I guess. So, you know, it's funny, I, I actually have a pretty strict rule that when I leave home, I, uh, I don't take phone calls from anyone or, or uh, work-related um, until I get to Starbucks and get my first cup of coffee of the day. Yeah, actually, it's not my first. It's actually like my third or fourth, but it's my first Starbucks of the day. And uh, so for the most part, I, I, I don't take phone calls or go over information work-related until I've had that coffee but for some reason again quite a few of you want to see the day in the life vlogging not just on an escort with that said I driving to work uh, beautiful day you know we'll go from there we'll grab some coffee kind of go over the details of the day and um, see where that leads us. All right, so we're at Starbucks driving the uh, Charger today. Got all my gear ready to go to work. Console. This is our slick top one of them uh oh the Starbucks is closed do you understand what the hell that means meaning somebody had a breakout of COVID good times anyways so you guys can ride with me while we go get my coffee and uh, then I can deal with the rest of my day so you know because since I've for some reason been on the internet for way too much you know I, I would love to point this out to all the people that are watching and all the losers that are watching as well and there is a big distinction between the two um, you have people that are watching because they're interested and then you have people that are watching because they want to know and things. But then you have the people that are watching that are just, I don't know, I guess you're living in the basement of your mom's home and you have nothing better to do with your time while the rest of the people, especially during COVID, are out working hard to make the money, tie the ends, meet the ends, you know, things like that for their families. But yet you have time to go out of your way and research my company and then research the phone number and then research who I am and then research how to call me and then you call me and you talk your dumb shit and you just make stupid comments like I'm out of gas I love that shit you know people talk crap about how I said I ran out of gas that time and uh, on and on and on when you have 18 BMWs let me know how you handle fleet management you know um especially with all the cars on top of that. But again, my fuel strip sensor was, was bad and I had done eight escorts that day and I was going from escort to escort to escort. And um, I didn't realize that I had rode over the 500 miles. Uh, our BMWs get around 430 to 480 miles uh, on a full tank. And I didn't realize I had ro rode that much that day. And that was the last escort of the day. But anyways, I'm, I, I digress and I'm going on and on. So, uh, back to what I was saying as far as YouTube goes. I'm literally vlogging with you guys while I'm going to Starbucks today. And nobody knew what Metro State was up until 2019. I've owned this business and run this business for 11 years. And um, I've never 
tried for publicity, as some of you like to say. I've I've run this business and 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 lived quietly, um, but for some reason now we're at the point where we're vlogging whether I'm going to Starbucks or not. When all of you start putting two and two together and start reading everything. I, I do love how somebody made a comment and I appreciate you making that comment. I truly do. And whoever made it, you'll know who it is when you watch this. But I love when you said you watch one video and you think or act as if you know the whole thing about Metro State. I, I love that. There's a lot of confusion. But if you're truly taking your time and doing your due diligence since you want to watch one or two videos and talk shit take your time and do your due diligence and go step by step and and look you'll notice that until sergeant middler got on the motor unit all we ever did was receive tickets for i don't know three or four years until the sheriff told them to stop and uh then all of a sudden he gets on the motor unit after he lo loses two lawsuits in federal court for civil rights harassment violations um, a lot of it because he's very very racist uh, if you go back and read some of the other things about him such as you know the dog bite where he allowed his canine unit to bite a black gentleman and was calling him racist names while he was allowing the dog to bite him um, you'll see that there's a long history and uh point of what I was saying is is if you go back and look and do your due diligence I keep saying that I'm sorry uh, I'm sure somebody will talk shit on that um, you'll see that we had no problems before Sergeant Biddler and then what's funny is in 2019 he was ordered to stand down and you can find that I'm sure also and you'll see where he was ordered to stand down good morning how are you good good 714 It, this is a swipe. I'm sorry. It's old. I'm old, so unfortunately. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Your vlog. You want to vlog with me? You're on the on the hi. vlog today. Say hi. How's it going? How's it going? That's good. So. Anyhow. And then when he was ordered in 2019 to stand down, isn't it funny that we've continued to do escorts and do details and continue to run the business for what now? Well, 2021. No, ma'am. Thank you so much. So now we're in 2021 and he was ordered to stand down in 2019, which is funny. Oh, you spilled the hot chocolate. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. Yes. It's on the vlog right now, so unfortunately, I'm gonna I'm blessed. I'm she dropped the hot chocolate. Who dropped the hot chocolate? Uh, yep, that's what I saw that's thought too. The one that's not doing her. I played the fifth. Yep, that's it. It that's the one right there. Um, for those that want to just post on one video or and trust me, I, I fully agree. There's so much crap out there that you could spend weeks, if not a month or two, trying to just figure out what's what and who's who and what's going on. Um, honestly, I, I I stopped watching everything. I'm only doing this because I kept getting people telling me and insisting that I need to vlog. Quite honestly, I, I, I don't believe in stuff like this. But um, <laughs> it is what it is and we are where we're at. And the situation is what it is. I know I, a lot of people don't think I have feelings. And I really don't. Um, quite honestly, I don't have feelings. But I guess occasionally here and there, it does kind of bite. Especially when people are talking about things they have no idea what they're talking about. Um, since they're posting everything about me and my life and my my family I mean what losers go out of their way to post things about my wife 
and my daughter or talk about how when my son died he should be in a trash can it's amazing to me the hate that people have when you don't even know what you're talking about let alone all the facts just because some unprofessional deputy decides to make me some kind of personal agenda so he can shut me down so that way when he retires from the sheriff's office because he owes thousands not just thousands hundreds of thousands in federal lawsuits that he lost due to civil rights violations and the only reason why you know about it now is because of the same deputy that is trying to shut me down and nobody stopped and really tried to figure out why would he go out of his way to try to shut me down. Well, you know, the funny thing is, is sad, just, I mean, as you saw at Starbucks, COVID-19 is definitely causing a lot of things in the world right now and creating issues that nobody wishes we had. Um, however, I will say that had it not been for COVID-19, I wouldn't be talking to you right now or vlogging as, as, as it's called. Um, not at all. The lies and fake information on the reports would have been too much. The only reason why I'm able to do what I'm doing today is, one, of course, if anyone's really paying attention, is Amir Ladan. The myth, the man, the legend, however that goes. So, I'm at the office now. I am going to let you go for now, and we will talk more later. Okay, Copying the exact same color of my cars and tacos and equipment, step by step. Painted the vehicles to look just like Metro State after Hitler had an appointment to get the new job with Curtis. My lights green, I'm moving, take down my lights, moving.
How you doing today? Second, let me get control of this. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a second. Yeah. On both ends too. Here comes the hole. I'm getting a call from Oaks. Last vehicle, Gold Ford Taurus, following a blue Honda. Dark blue Honda. Gold Ford Taurus. Again, last two vehicles, gold, old Ford Taurus, following a blue Honda sedan. That light's still green? All right, grab it before it changes. They tried to take over funeral escorts in Orlando. They were a security company years before we started escorts. He's probably videotaping right now. Hey, look, look, look what they're doing. They're doing illegal stuff. 493 doesn't give him permission to do that. What color is the lights, though?
a Metro State van pulling into the intersection, a Metro State van pulling into the intersection. Oh no, it's the five guys. trying to figure out, man. Fiddler said the car is black and white and the truck's black and white makes us impersonating. I, and I was I was worried for that five guy guy, you know? I'm worried for him. I'm worried for his safety. Orange County Sheriff's in the intersection, Orange County Sheriff's in the intersection. I'm gonna bump. Motor one's moving. 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 Motor